Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes, the next plane 11. For this flight I'm in the P-38 by Don Henry, so there's freeware plane and pretty good for that. Uh, looking especially spiffy on the outside with the textures Pudgy the fifth. Uh, this is uh, the plane of T.B. McGuire, Major T.B. McGuire, the second, uh, the number two ace for the United States in World War II. And Pudgy, I believe, was the nickname of his wife. So anyway, uh, but yeah, I'm going to be flying from Phoenix to Las Vegas in this. And let's get started with the Apollo 13 audio, which we are continuing to listen to. There we go. All right. And without further ado, let's rev up the engines. Oop, so there's a little no bit fit more uh, fidgety on the rudder than I expected. Okay. Go ahead, Jim. Just out of curiosity, man, so what's our distance to velocity now? Hey, stand by one. You're speeding up, I think. So I'm sure everybody's excited by the upcoming release of Flight Sim 2020, which is how I'll refer to it. I don't think they add the 2020, but uh, just for clarity's sake, I will. And I think what I'm going to do is mostly focus on flying out of like California and all around here, which is where I've got my best scenery, I think. But in Flight Sim 2020, I'm hopeful that scenery in other areas that I don't have very good ortho scenery for. We've flown in places where the ortho scenery just doesn't work out very well. Um, that hopefully in flights in 2020 I can fly in those locations properly and we'll have good quality scenery in those areas. So I'll focus mainly in flying in those areas I think. And I don't intend to... I think I'm going the... I need to go this way. Um, I probably won't get the same planes that I have in here for Flight Sim 2020, so if I'm going to get payware planes, or even if I download freeware planes, I'll only get them if I don't have them in X-Plane 11, so it'll be a sort of shared thing. And maybe some plans will involve both simulators together, depending. After all, I've got oodles of nice scenery in here already. As we see Phoenix. And some very nice planes here and there. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe maybe having a home base in Japan in Flight Sim 2020 okay, and just, uh, see if Asia looks better. Just, uh, Japan has a very nice landscape. Give us the, so. the volts and amps just before you start the termination of the procedure. And I uh, understand you, you say you have the, the charge, the procedure for taking the charge off. Is that a firm? So this is US 60, the highway that we're following to Las Vegas now. I don't think it goes all the way. I don't know. I don't recall it going all the way to Las Vegas. I think it'll meet up with some other highway up north. There's sort of doubling back in a way. But that's to cover some of the locations I wanted to fly around in the United States. As it was in Europe, we sort of doubled back a little bit too. Just to go ahead and reverse the position of the switches and circuit breakers 
that I started out with, and these don't have to be in reverse order. Is that uh, Charlie? Raj, that's, uh, that's Charlie. Uh, have at it. Okay, we'll get a bulls and amps right now. Okay. Okay, Jack, we copy that. Incidentally, okay, we're going up to Trevor. Quiet, then. Uh, never mind. Oh, Jack, that's I'll not, not what I wanted to do. Finish the procedure. Sorry, I wanted to adjust the camera like this, and I hit the wrong button. Somehow, Control D deployed the landing gear. That's weird. Okay. Uh, wanted to do some arrow. fancy that's camera stuff. I thought it was only G okay. that was landing gear, so I don't know why Control D did it. Now, how do you read, man? Hey, a lot clear, Fred. I uh, understand you've been doing some spring house cleaning, uh, moving storage around up there. Well, you wouldn't believe this limb right now. It's nothing but bags from floor to ceiling. Hey, uh, that brings up a question. Uh, we were wondering where you guys plan to stow the probe and drogue. Uh, it occurred to us that one possibility was to stow it in the LEM down uh, about where the LMP normally stands uh, underneath the I ISA. Or, uh, perhaps you have a better idea. Over. Yeah, I do. But that's, uh, that's the LEM, but I thought uh, maybe we ought to stow it where the CDR stands. Not that. Okay, uh, I can tell that you're just getting uh, getting that one over because uh, Jim just got off the loop. Okay, he's sleeping. Now that's uh, that's actually where we uh, normally um, had been going. Well, we're now flying over surprise mentioned in the okay. previous flight. And, uh, Interesting just, we'll, concentric we'll, uh, circle that. neighborhoods and, uh, we've got here. Figure that you'll stow the probe and drogue over in the where the CDR stands. We have a Oh, I guess these this, uh, I don't know. Transfer list these are part of Sun out. City, I think, the concentric circles uh, technically. Surprise is item. not uh, quite co so land concentric, land by, land by I think. Okay. I think it's to the left here. I think uh, Jack called off the uh, piece of paper with that uh, all that on it. Uh, why don't you hold it until uh, Jack is done uh, Okay. And Fred, request uh, PCM on low bit rate now. Okay. Yeah, there was one piece of uh, flight data uh, that uh, we needed that we didn't bring along this time. What was that? It's a big book with a lot of just plain old blank pages in it. <laughs> because they have to take down all yeah, these well, checklists. Yeah, when you get off nominal, why, you just need scratch paper, don't you? Okay, uh, Vance, I got the storage list now. Okay, I gave you two lists. Jack, uh, uh, and Jack said he's uh, completed uh, the uh, securing the battery charge now. Okay, and uh, we're recording the time that that was complete. Uh, you have two lists there. One is LEM to CM equipment transfer. The second list is a reverse. Uh, request to scratch the last item on the first list, uh, which is uh, returning used bags back to the CM. Okay. Uh, 
Let's just take a look inside for a sec. Well, we could probably lower the RPM okay. a bit. Okay, Jack, I understand you uh, completed the uh, securing the battery charge. Now, uh, if you're ready to copy, Jack, I'd like to give you the, the two changes that we have to the power-up for the TM procedure of it. Okay, stand by one. Okay. Okay, Vance, uh, you say you have some changes okay. in the procedure that I used before to get telemetry to check out the system. Yeah, that's correct, Jack. Uh, they're pretty simple. Uh, about halfway through the procedure, uh, we have a step on panel 3, which is power amp high. We'd like to change that to power amp low. Power amp low. And the next change, Jack, is panel 275. Scratch the step CB main B, bat B closed. Bat bus B closed. Okay, you want to delete the step CB main B, bat bus B closed. Raj, uh, as you know, we're going to uh, do this on limb power. So, uh, this reflects that. Okay, we'll find. Okay, and have at it. We, uh, we'd like to have the TM up for about five or ten minutes to look at the, the data from the CM, look at your temperatures, etc. And after that, we'll go back to charging the battery again. And the charge will probably go till around GET 126. Okay. Uh, do you want the same readouts for me uh, that I gave you before? Uh, that's uh, affirmative, Jack. And uh, just to make sure that, that there's no uh, uh, mistaking the procedure, it starts out for the back out part, panel three, power amp off, transponder off, AC inverter two off, then goes to panel 250, etc. That's uh, that's the way I read it. Okay. Okay, going back up into the refrigerator. Hey, I I thought it was the bedroom. Well, it's got a new name now because it's about 30 degrees cooler. Roger, returning to the deep freeze. Is on the where you have us putting uh, the black and white TV camera on top of A7 in an A4 contamination bag. I was wondering uh, if it would be possible or if there would be any problem in putting it into B6 along with the 270mm Hasselblad camera. Uh, Jack, I don't think there'll be any problem uh, if you can get it in, but uh, let us get work that and get back with you, okay? Uh, all right. I was just thinking I'm trying to get as much weight as possible down in there uh, in that uh, LED. Uh, we have no SRCs, and then our weight tank is, uh, you know, uh, rather depleted. I think it's about down to 40% or so. So I'm trying to get as much LO over D as I can, and any heavy items we can get down there, uh, I'd be greatly appreciated if you bring it to our attention. Okay, we copy that, and uh, we owe you an answer on uh, your last question. Okay, and I'm in work, uh, going to give you some telemetry. Okay. This is Apollo Control at 123 hours, 2 minutes. Road seems to be Apollo US 93 West here. 100,000 miles from Earth now. 99,868 nautical miles. 
US 60 sort of breaks off. It's the. Uh, I don't think it's that one. I think it's the one behind there at our tail that breaks off and heads west. So, US 93 it is. Uh, say again, Ben. Uh, Fred, we just lost data on uh, a quarry on uh, Jack. Would you have him select the uh, best Omni, please? This is Apollo Control at 123 hours, 9 minutes. We're using LEM power for this command and service module telemetry check. Turns up now to uh, 24 a.m. The airport behind us, uh, I think, is Morton Airport, but on the map, its runway configuration is a bit different than what it is down there. Okay, we don't uh, need to dive or anything. Data. I recommend that uh, Jack interesting color to the landscape. Off, uh, the TM and uh, power back down again using his back out procedure. Just uh, let us know when he does it. Okay. And after that, we'll start the battery charge, and uh, we'll have to know when he starts that. Okay, starting to back out now. Uh, just out of curiosity, uh, we'll all get a readout on uh, what the cabin temp was up there. Yeah, we're we're getting uh, 45 to 46 degrees. It's uh, kind of a cold winter day up there, isn't it? Is it snowing in the command module yet? Is it uh, what, then? Is it snowing in there yet? Oh, it's snowing. No, uh, no, not quite. Uh, the windows are in pretty bad shape, and uh, I guess uh, the service module uh, will be trying to shoot out of the limp uh, windows because uh, every window in the command module is covered with water droplets. It would take a lot of scrubbing to uh, get those uh, cleared off. Roger, understand. Deke says to tell you You'll have some time on the beach in Samoa to thaw out after this cold experience. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, uh, man, uh, don't thought about uh, what uh, cameras uh, you're running to use. Right now, we've got configured uh, a Hasselblad uh, with the 250. And I've got uh, the lunar surface uh, number one has the flat, and I've got uh, the lunar surface uh, sequence camera also rigged and uh, ready to go. Uh, did you have any other brothers about uh, the rocket? Uh, you're referring to the uh, photography of the service module, is that right? That's correct. Uh, we have some uh, procedures in work, uh, and, and I've seen them, Fred. Uh, I think pretty soon we'll be shooting them up to you to specify which cameras and uh, settings. But that, that sounds pretty close. Okay, uh, you might uh, let them know that uh, they had thought of it, that we got this uh, lunar surface sequence camera on board, which has its own battery pack set up and uh, shoot quite a few pictures with, and uh, that could also be used for this. Uh, Raj, uh, I know we are planning to use that camera, among others. Okay. Okay, Houston Aquarius, uh, Jack is, uh, So to our right uh, is Arastra Mountain uh, Wilderness. Okay, real good, Fred. We got it. There are quite a few wildernesses around here. Okay, and we're you can sort of tell. <laughs> a nice uh, maze Roger, to our right there. A, Fred. 
And Fred, uh, request now first reading of voltage, bad A voltage, and, uh, and charge your current over. Okay, Vance, I can give it to you. I read it right after I started it. Uh, bad A voltage was 39.4, and the current had jumped up to 1.4. Okay, 39.4 and 1.4. Thanks, Jack. Okay, how about you ready for some other readouts if you wanted there? Ready to copy. Okay, bat C, 37.0. Pyro A, 37.0. Pyro B, 37.0. SPS helium pressure, 3400. And nitrogen A and B just for throwing it in for kick. 2200 and 2400 respectively. And the injector temperature, stand by. The, the sun went down. <laughs> right. Okay, I, I think they are using the sun for light, I guess, maybe. 3.9. Five dog. 3.2. Alpha, 3.6. 6 Baker, 3.9. 6 Charlie, 3.5. 6 Dog, 3.4. Battery manifold pressure, 1.4. Okay, we copy all that, Jack. Thank you. You figure you're going to be charging uh, that age to about 126? Uh, Roger, about uh, 126.30 is an estimate, Jack. Okay, and you figure it'll be fully charged then, huh? Uh, yeah, that's right. We'll have all the batteries up to about 116 amps hours. better than 99, huh? You're right. How did all our systems work on Humphrey, then? I didn't hear any complaints, but just a minute, let me uh, make a detailed check. I'm just noticing interesting dot-like shadows on the horizontal stabilizer. They're sort of marching along uh, uh, both near like the left of, uh, vertical cool stabilizer and the right vertical stabilizer. The one, the uh, of, uh, well, it depends on the angle, than what they were yesterday. Looks how like prominent they are. Everything is, uh, still just a uh, curiosity. Prominent, we're working up a detailed sheet of temperatures to send up to you for your interest. Sounds good. Uh, Houston, Aquarius. Go ahead, Aquarius. Okay, uh, Vance, uh, oh, that's up, really uh, nice. The alignment at uh, EI minus 2 plus 30. Uh, were you going to set up uh, or have a about that, uh, Don't know what that leak in the distance is. That's correct, uh, Jack. We just about. That might be a mine, uh, actually. In hand I have on my map a Baghdad mine. I don't know why it's called Baghdad mine, but that's what it's called. Except missing the H to, uh, in Baghdad, or at least the normal spelling of it. And any changes in the entry checklist. So, if you have a few pages of scratch paper, why? I think we'll have that to you within an hour. Uh, 
Uh, one other thing, Jack. You still with me? Yes, correct. Uh, our storage people have uh, tried out this uh, black and white TV camera into B6 idea. And they say even with the lens off, they can't get it in. So I'll still recommend that it be stowed uh, where we had it on the list. Uh, that's A7. Okay, no Jack requests another voltage readout on uh, bad A and current on bad charger. Okay, man, the uh, volt 39.3, amp 1.3. Roger, copy 39.3 and 1.3. Houston, over. Oop. Go ahead, Ben. Uh, Jack, uh, looks like the Make Lamb sure we follow the highway still. Has been, uh, bumped to auto again. Eventually, this meets up with another okay, highway, over. the name of which I can't quite spot on the map right okay. quite yet. I think that's I-40. I think that's Interstate 40 that merges into. Okay, they say it looks good. Okay. Corey, Houston. Go ahead. Okay, Jack, we need uh, another one of those uh, voltage amps All the little readout. shrubs in the... Riverbed there are sort of annoying actually with the flickering. I'll just stick to this view. Okay. Jack, uh, right now it's, we're told it's uh, closer to six, and but they'd like to track it some more. It looks like your next mid course will be in the order of two to three foot per second. Okay. This is Apollo Control at 123 hours 48 minutes. Apollo 13 is 97,232 nautical miles from Earth. Velocity 5,996 feet per second. We're 18 hours, 52 minutes away from entry at 400,000 feet. And if the crew is satisfied with the integrity of the uh, command module, tunnel hatch, they will make this re-entry unsuited. Just got a good 
Go ahead, Jack. Okay, uh, we're still in good shape as far as water goes on the left. Okay, wake up. Okay, have you run out of uh, CM drinking water yet, Check. Oh, no, we got plenty of... Uh, uh, okay, water. there's the point where it merges into Interstate 40. Uh, so we'll follow Interstate 40 up to, okay, well, uh, across to Kingman, and then we'll split off again. situation in the lamb is, which uh, is your question, right? Okay, well, I guess what I was really asking is if you'd have any violent objections if we filled uh, uh, two drink bags from lamb water rather than repressurize the first thing. Okay, stand by on that. Also, Jim, also Jim sleeps up there, and uh, we didn't want to bother him either. Okay, we understand. And uh, Jack, we'll be uh, changing uh, stations in one minute, so we may have a temporary dropout and come. Okay. Quarius, Houston. Okay, man, go ahead, live clear. Okay, Jack, uh, we're going to bargain with you on this one. Uh, instead of two, would uh, wish that you'd just get one one bag full. That uh, shouldn't do any harm. Uh, however, okay. we're, we're not all that fat on water that we want to uh, do any drinking out of the limb uh, as a regular thing after this one bag. So uh, would you let us know when you uh, get the water out and give us a mark on it so we can watch the TM over. Okay, uh, Fredo's about to withdraw the water now. Okay, Vince, um, we would draw a oh, about eight ounces of water. Okay, Jack. How's it taste? This is Apollo Control, 124 hours, 15 minutes. Apollo 13 now, 95,638 nautical miles from Earth. Velocity 6,057 feet per second. Temperature in the LEM cabin now reading 51 degrees. Pressure 4.98 pounds per square inch. The carbon dioxide partial pressure. Two tenths of a millimeter of mercury. So this city is Kingman and we're going to go ahead and head north from here. I don't, oh, I think it's US 93 again that we're going to be following. 
So US 93 merged with Interstate 40 and then now it's going to branch off again. changing very fast, is it? Uh, how far out are we? Okay, uh, 95.3 and 6.068 on uh, velocity per Fido. Okay. Bill Stovall. Thank you. Yep, the interstate goes off to the left there, and we're going off to the right here. Can yeah, see the Colorado the River there. Even Saturday when you return. I concur. Hey, uh, Jim, we have uh, some uh, photo information to pass up to you. Discussed this briefly with Fred earlier. It's uh, instructions or suggestions for which photos or which cameras and lenses to use during your service module photography over. Understand, stand by one. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we have three cameras here. Two of them to be used for picture taking from the limb one to be used from uh, the number five window of the CSM. Uh, first of all, hit the LEM cameras. <clears throat> and this camera that I mentioned now has first priority. It's considered uh, the one to give you the best results. That's the 70 millimeter DC Roseau camera, Hasselblad that is, with the uh, 80 millimeter lens from box A13. suggest fresh magazine of 3,400 black and white film. <clears throat> okay. Okay, suggest either uh, magazine R or magazine S from A13. Uh, transfer all of this to the limb. I think this side looks better. <laughs> recommend the following settings. <clears throat> LM slash DC slash 80 slash BW 3400 in parentheses, F5.6 at a 250th. And that's all for that one. Okay, man, let me see if I have it here. For the lamp, want to use a 70 millimeter DC house of body. Camera to the lamp, and the settings will be lamp DC 80 DW 3400. 
That's correct. Okay, next. Uh, the next camera. Stand by one, I've got noise here. Okay, the next limb, or the next uh, camera for the limb will be the 16 millimeter. And these photos are considered to be priority three. Okay, one, uh, get the 16 millimeter DAC and power pack from A8. Get the 10 millimeter lens uh, <coughs> uh, and remove it. Uh, remove the 10, 10 millimeter lens and uh, take the 18 millimeter lens from B3 and attach it to the camera. And attach the power cable, transfer to the limb. Set frame rate at 12 frames per second. And the same uh, data uh, line that I gave you before reads this way this time. Lem slash DAC slash 18 slash CEX comma battery and in parentheses F8 we can see Lake Mead up there 1 2 50th okay now looking at these two cameras in the limb it's recommended that you use uh, the 16 millimeter for the first two and a half minutes and then switch to the 70 millimeter That's uh, partly because the frames have been, uh, or the, uh, they've, they've been optimized for uh, closer and longer range. Okay, uh, read back, please. Okay, man, essentially what you want us to use as far as the uh, movie camera in the left goes is our uh, lunar sequence camera. Raj, F8 at uh, 250. Right, F8 at 250. Okay, would you believe that uh, we have a uh, correction now to the the last camera I gave you. Uh, correct that 18 millimeter lens to seven, 75 millimeter lens. Uh, change the 18 millimeter to the 75 millimeter lens. Okay. Right. Okay, next uh, for the command module pictures, it may be a little hard to see the service module from the command module. But if you can see it, it'll be through window five, people down here think. I uh, recommend for that the CM 70 millimeter. These photos have priority two. So this is 70 millimeter EL with, uh, which has 80 millimeter attached uh, from, and this is all in B3. Take off the 80 millimeter lens and attach the 250 millimeter lens. I think this highway should cross over into Nevada, pretty close to where the and the, the Hoover Dam is. Lens can be found in U4. Use uh, CEX film from A13. Either that or it Ring actually crosses on the Hoover Dam. A7. Not sure. And uh, these these pictures will be F8 at a 250th. And I I think probably by now you you probably all ha already have these uh, cameras configured, and this may be redundant information, but uh, here it is anyway.
Over. Okay, Van, uh, you're right. We do have cameras uh, almost configured, like you said. Uh, for the command module, you'll think that the uh, EL with 250 lens, the EX film, F8 and 1250 is the best bet. And you're saying now that where you think you'll see it is out the window 5, is that it? That's right, Jim. Okay, my procedure now, uh, after uh, service module 10 is going to be to uh, pitch up in order to try to get the uh, service module into the, uh, to get the, uh, the center window uh, in view of the service module, which we were going to have uh, somebody there to take a photograph. Uh, why do you think window 5 will be in? Okay, stand by on that one. This is a question of geometry, and I'll get right back. This is Apollo Control at 124 hours, 55 minutes. Apollo 13 now, 93,329 nautical miles from Earth. Velocity 6,148 feet per second. We're 12 hours 45 minutes away from the uh, planned last mid course correction. Tracking to date uh, indicates that that would uh, be about a 3.4 feet per second delta V. If it stays around that number, it will probably be done with the reaction control system. It would be a 25 second duration burn with the reaction control system. Capcom Vance brand uh, will pass up more information here shortly on the uh, Photography task at service module separation will stand by for that. Aquarius Houston, over. Well, I don't think the bridge that the highway goes over is properly uh, rendered Jim, uh, here. Regarding it seems. Five, I have a drawing here. And, uh, its own thing rather than dock, on the Hoover Dam. Approximately a 60 degree angle between the Z axes of the two spacecraft. Uh, it appears that peering out window five, you would yeah, I don't think it actually dips down like that. I'm pretty sure there's a bridge there. The limb, and then the Hoover Dam, you can would, uh, see uh, if you upriver the, there just a little bit. More or less give you a, a view of the service module that is if you uh, pitched so uh, from and, and I think okay and then this has been run by uh, the city to our left there, is so Boulder offhand I I can't Boulder uh, City I should say that's not like Boulder Colorado any, Boulder, any other would be as Boulder City Nevada and Henderson Nevada and okay, then Las that, Vegas uh, up there yeah, you're right uh, when we look out with the fire we got the uh, round of the radar and, uh, we'll try, uh, and we'll we should descend. Roger. It presumes, though, that there has to be a pitch to be able to see it. You guys sound a lot more rested today. Well, I just uh, went back and sacked out for an hour or so and uh, came back up. Very good. And Jim, uh, Houston, uh, we really are going to get those checklists up to you. <laughs> okay. Didn't he make that joke earlier? Am I repeating things again? I remember that joke before. May I just heard it before. Course, I'm so confused most of the time. Go ahead, Houston. 
Uh, Jim, it's could be a recurring joke. Readings on the battery charging again. Request the battery voltage and the charger amps. Over. Okay, stand by, man. Houston, the fire. Go ahead, Jim. Okay, uh, we have uh, no more water in the portable tank. Uh, we try to get some more out uh, a few minutes ago, and uh, there isn't any. Okay, understand you ran out of water in the CM portable tank. This is Apollo Control at 125 hours, 24 minutes. We have an update now on the lunar module consumables lifetime. Yeah, I thought we had heard this bit. Unless These figures include uh, powering up the lamb at 136 hours, 15 minutes elapsed time. There's a further update. Including that power up. We okay, maybe I'll just fly straight in here. For uh, 30.7 more hours. Very dark in the cockpit, though. The enough oxygen for 140. Enough oxygen for uh, 146 hours. And uh, Aquarius used I think to try to figure out which ones are the runways and which ones are the taxiways. Uh, Jim, were you, were you uh, able to get those voltage, uh, bad A voltage and oh, yeah, current rate? Uh, bread, uh, bread up and down. Okay. And we're ready to read you the first checklist installment. This will, uh, what we're going to read up is going to be Ooh, the a LEM timeline, flaps CSM timeline, do quite a lot. and checklist changes to conform with these. And right now I have the first installment of the CSM timeline ready to read up. Okay, Jack, I'm going to get, uh, or Van, I'm going to get Jack on the line for that, and he'll stand by. Okay, and he'll need a lot of paper. Okay. Bolt is 39.5, and 1.24, stand by. Okay, we got it. Time remaining on the electrical power at 22 and a half hours, which would bring us to an elapsed time of 100. Okay, Houston, stand by. Would bring us to an elapsed time on the electrical power of 147 hours, 30 minutes. The water remaining would bring us to an elapsed time of 155 hours, 42 minutes. On and raise the cup. Okay, Jack. Uh, wait one. We want to get one into the hands of uh, Flight NECOM, and uh, it'll take about a minute or two. Uh, sorry to wake you up for this, but uh, take about a minute, and then we'll read it up to you. Okay. And we have a 137 hours worth of lithium hydroxide left. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the lunar module now is at uh, three tenths of a millimeter of mercury. All right, we have landed at Las Vegas. Next time it will be to Salt Lake City. Forty-six hours of uh, oxygen left. 
in the lunar module would bring us to an elapsed time of 271 hours. We're 17 hours and 11 minutes away from entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Jim Lovell uh, reported a short time ago that the potable water tank in the command module has gone dry. There is enough of a pad in uh, lunar module water, though, that uh, the crew will not have to go thirsty. Okay, I think I'm going to pause it right there, and I'll have to check whether we've heard some of that before, whether I'm just remembering it from other, lo other occasions. But anyway, as I taxi off here, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this flight. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.